ECU Athletics presents the ECU Basketball Show with Coach Michael Perry. The ECU Basketball Show is brought to you by Vidant Health, official health system of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the show this week. Coach Perry will be here in just a couple of minutes and we'll take a look at what the Pirates have been up to this week. Our Pirate player profile, B.J. Tyson. Brian Bailey will be here and take an in-depth look. East Carolina has a new women's soccer coach as well. He's Jason Hamilton. He will sit down with our Brian Medor coming up on the show. Also coming up on the show, we're so very excited about the renovation of Dowdy Ficklin Stadium Bagwell Field and Philip Wood from the Pirate Club will be here. He'll tell us a little bit more about that. Camp Connors, also another installment with the strength and conditioning coach at ECU, Jeff Connors, coming up. Gardner Minshew, the quarterback for the Pirates, will be in the spotlight. Hang in there with us. Coach Perry joins me right after this. When you're feeling less than 100%, Vitan Health can help keep you in the game. With Vitan Now Virtual Care, you can visit a North Carolina licensed doctor anytime, anywhere, on any device. It's private, secure, and affordable. Stay in the game with Vitan Now Virtual Care. Anytime, anywhere, on any device. Switch to Suddenlink for more. Like internet, TV, and phone starting at $59.99 a month for one year. Want more? For $10 more, get five times faster internet and Showtime for one year. Want even more of more? And you can get Netflix for one year. Already have Netflix? We'll pay for it. What's more? Get a free Android tablet. Call 877-566-3401 or visit suddenlink.com for special web-only offers. Seven thousand student athletes rising to become champions in 21 different sports at 13 esteemed institutions across 11 states. 360,000 students and 2.6 million alumni rise up in celebration of a Power Six conference known as the American. Coach Perry joins us now, and for the Pirates, no games this past week. Guy has really concentrated on the academics and with exams. And so, Michael, I guess that puts a little bit of a different routine in for you guys. Tell us about practice and uh, how things went. Practice is all predicated on exam schedules, uh, study hall schedules, uh, tutors, uh, group um, study groups. Uh, all those type of things uh, have to be taken into consideration, and we just kind of fit practice in where we can. Uh, but it's been a great, great um, time for us in that we've been able to find those gaps that traditionally you don't always be, uh, you can always find, but we were able to find those where we can have practice uh, multiple days. You told me the other day you wanted to put in some different wrinkles on offense and defense. Were you able to do that? Yes, absolutely. We've been able to add some more things to our offensive package, uh, expand our defensive package as well, and uh, and also be able to look back over the last three games because you know, with those games back to back to back, you really haven't had a chance to reflect at some of the things you did well, some of the things you need to improve on. And the good news is the Pirates are on a three-game win streak. East Carolina's won a three in a row under this man. And when you take a look at uh, evaluating the ball club, I'm sure you're still trying to do that, Michael. But I was looking the other day. You know, all five starters have started every game. You've stayed with the same starting lineup. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just think that consistency is really important. 
the guys moving forward through this transition, uh, you want less change as possible. Uh, some is going to be required, but you want less change as possible. And the guys have been really responding well through this transition. Guys have done a good job shooting the ball from the perimeter and a good shooting percentage for this ball club, 45% going into this week. But try to keep them loose. I don't want them looking over at the bench and wondering or questioning whether it was a bad shot. Uh, I want them to be loose. I mean, I just know shooters shoot well when they don't have to think about things. I know you want to clean up the turnovers just a bit. Absolutely. That's one thing that we want to be have a conscious about. You know, we say in shooting, you want a guy that has no conscious. Mm -hmm. And uh, you remember like some of the great shooters, Ray Allen and those guys never had a conscious when it comes to shooting. But you want to have a you want to have a real serious conscious when it comes to taking care of the basketball. Isaac Fleming has really uh, become your point guard on this ball club. How do you think he has done as far as running the team? Done a good job. And, uh, you know, one thing Coach Lebo used to always say, uh, the better the score, the better the point guard. If you're a scoring threat, then you're absolutely a better uh, better playmaker and facilitator. He can score the basketball, but he's also an outstanding facilitator of the basketball. He's doing a great job right now. And another thing that kind of gets understated about him is his defense. Yeah, no doubt about that. He's uh, really good on defense. How about Jabari Craig and the guys inside, Michael? Where do you think they are in their development? Great. Jabari's doing a great job for us from a defensive standpoint, defensive rebounding. Um, challenging shot. He has some block shots as well. He has some physicality in the post. He doesn't allow deep post uh, touches from opposing teams, post players. So he's done a really good job there, as well as some of the other post players. Uh, he's got to get better with his field goal percentage, and he's in here working all the time. That's going to get better as the season goes on. Quality depth, that's what coaches talk about oftentimes. Mike, how about when you look down that bench? Are there some guys now that are kind of filling that role? Yeah, absolutely. Starting with the post players, uh, Uzman's done a good job for us. Justin Wiley's done a great job for us. Uh, Aaron has come off and been able to play multiple positions, both the power forward spot and also the small forward. And then you, you never can uh, underestimate uh, Deshaun Williams, um, his performance on a night in and night out basis. You know you're going to get something special. Um, but he could go. He could give you six points or he could give you 20 points. And he's shown both uh, during the course, this short uh, part of the season already. But he's an outstanding uh, player coming off the bench, instant firepower. We come back, we'll have more with Coach Perry right after this. Golden Corral Smokehouse keeps on rolling. New smoked beef short ribs, honey chipotle shrimp, baby back ribs, and more. But if you want to rock the salad bar, hit it. The Smokehouse at Golden Corral. Your choice rules. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. It's nonstop when we're born. It can be awkward, unexpected, or simply perfect. But at its core, attention is good. Here it's multiplied, not divided, and given to our clients every day. BB&T, all we see is you. Smokehouse keeps on rolling. New smoked beef short ribs, honey chipotle shrimp, baby back ribs, and more. But if you want to rock the salad bar, hit it. The Smokehouse at Golden Corral. Your choice rules. Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research. Discovering molecules that kill cancer cells. T-cell generation that could treat MS. Breakthroughs in particle laser physics. Top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right. This is ECU. America's next great national university.
Welcome back to the show. B.J. Tyson in his senior year out of Wadesboro, North Carolina. He's been an all AAC performer, got hurt last year. He's come back. He looks better than ever. In fact, Mike, on one of our postgame radio shows, I asked him the other day, I said, is this the, the old B.J. coming back? And he said, no, this is the new B.J. He says, I am better now than I was before the injury. Have you seen that too? Yes, certainly in terms of overall skill level. Uh, you can see the development that's occurred over the last four, maybe five years, basically, because he's been here because he registered his first year. But, you know, he walked onto campus. I had excellent mid-range shooting. We knew he was athletic. Um, but the areas we really need to improve in was his three-point shooting and his ball handling. He's made tremendous strides in all of those. And we're seeing now the culmination of great hard work and determination, not just, uh, you know, during the season, but in the all season, because that's what you really get better. What you do in July wins for you in December, January, and February. And he's a testament to that. He's really worked hard, and you can see it in his ball handling, his ability to be able to make plays for others off the bounce, and then, of course, a three-point shooting. B.J. has spent a lot of time right here in the Smith Center, the great practice facility that the Pirates have, and our Brian Bailey had a chance to sit down and visit with B.J. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile, brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. Our Pirate Profile this week is with B.J. Tyson, and B.J. has a very interesting first name. We've talked about it before, yeah. but tell everybody about the name Bunyan. Um, Bunyan, um, my name is Bunyan DeVell Tyson Jr. Um, I was named after my dad, and um, I once asked my dad, well, where did his name ever come from? And my dad actually told me that he actually got the name from, like, Paul Bunyan. And then I actually got my last name from uh, his granddad, Reverend Tyson. So it was it was kind of weird and it was kind of uh, entertaining just to hear that. And it was kind of funny. But once he told me that, I was like, oh, man, oh, y'all are really kidding me. So, <laughs> yeah, that's where my name come from. You've had some exciting plays as a pirate. What's the thing you remember most? Oh, my sports in the top uh, 10 play. Um, you know, it was playing against Wilmington, which was one of our rival schools. And, you know, uh, KB was coming down, and we broke the press, and he bounced past it to me, and all I all I did was go up and I dunked it and um, I had Kaycock up under me so you know it was kind of amazing it was kind of shocking because I didn't realize I dunked it and then I heard the whistles and I heard the ref say you know foul count it and you know uh, KB came out of nowhere and picked me up and I was just in shock mode. And that was especially fun against a rival like that. Yeah oh it was fun it got the crowd hype um, it was you know it was a um, memorable night for us um, and we also got the win. Off the court what makes BJ Tyson tick? Um, you know, just being me, you know, just being a goofy guy around my teammates, um, just uh, having fun. Having fun. That's what it's all about. Isn't it? You guys are having some fun right now, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, coming off um, a, um, a win, you know, versus Campbell, you know, been on a three game winning streak. You know, even though we got two weeks off, we still going to practice like we got a game coming up um, and that's going to get us better. All right. That's our Pirate Profile this week. B.J. Tyson. Five, four, three, two. Oh. Today we're with quarterback Gardner Minshew. We're going to talk about some of the things that we do with quarterbacks to protect the glenohumeral joint in the shoulder and also prevent shoulder impingement. First thing we're going to start out with is a basic push-up. What Gardner is going to concentrate on is keeping his shoulder blades a great position. He's going to think about keeping his shoulder blades in his back pockets and go through that range of mo motion slowly. All right, here we go. One more time. All right, good job. Next, we're going to do an exercise called a push up plus. So, again, he's thinking about his shoulder blade position. Dropping down short range of motion. There you go. A little extra movement at the top. Staying in that good position with the upper back. All right, good. Next exercise is just gonna be a simple movement we do with a band. And essentially, it's, it's easy to do with a group of individuals because uh, we have an abundance of bands, so we can go ahead and look at this exercise as an external rotating exercise, uh, working the infraspinatus and also the terrace minor. All right, here we go. And we can also turn it over, go overhand. 
All right, good. Next, we're going to do an internal rotation. So concentrically, internal rotate. Eccentrically, external rotate. About two or three more reps. All right, good job. Uh, Gardner's already had surgery on the shoulder. That is his non-throwing shoulder. So we want to keep, keep his throwing shoulder healthy and also continue to rehab the shoulder where he had the surgery. Uh, right now we're in a phase, uh, it's a voluntary phase, and I uh, can't say enough for the job that Gardner's done getting in here every day and getting his teammates in. So we're really looking for his leadership next season. Camp Connors is brought to you by Core Power, official protein drink of the Pirates. When you're feeling less than 100%, Vitin Health can help keep you in the game. With Vitin Now Virtual Care, you can visit a North Carolina licensed doctor anytime, anywhere, on any device. It's private, secure, and affordable. Stay in the game with Vitin Now Virtual Care. Anytime, anywhere, on any device. Are you ready, Pirate fans? Planet Fitness in Greenville is a proud sponsor of ECU football. Sail in for this great deal. Get the Planet Fitness black card now and enjoy exclusive access at Planet Fitness in Greenville, Wilson, Rocky Mount, and throughout the Triangle area. One low price for everything Planet Fitness. Unlimited guest privileges, free unlimited fitness training, hydro massage and massage chairs, tanning, and more. Make out like a pirate. Get the Planet Fitness black card today. Online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness, the world judges. We don't. Switch to Suddenlink for more. Like internet, TV, and phone starting at $59.99 a month for one year. Want more? For $10 more, get five times faster internet and Showtime for one year. Want even more of more? And you can get Netflix for one year. Already have Netflix? We'll pay for it. What's more? Get a free Android tablet. Call 877-566-3401 or visit suddenlink.com for special web-only offers. It begins with a vision. It builds strength, endurance, focus, determination. It transforms athletes into a team and fans into believers. It creates an unstoppable force, a force to be reckoned with, a force that is power. The American Power for Life. Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research, discovering molecules that kill cancer cells, T-cell generation that could treat MS, breakthroughs in particle laser physics, top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right, this is ECU. America's next great national university. Welcome back to the show. ECU has a brand new women's soccer coach. His name is Jason Hamilton. And let's hear a little bit more about Jason with our Brian Medor. What is it about ECU that stood out for you? Uh, I think, you know, as a coach, you want to you want to go somewhere where you can win. And like I told the team, you know, as soon as you walk in here, facilities are fantastic. And, you know, the location of the country, it's, it's a hotbed of soccer. And then the American Conference, it's, you know, it's good teams. And this is a conference that could have, you know, four teams going into the tournament every year. And, and that's what you want is to be able to, to make that run at the end of the season. Well, for being a pirate and being welcome to Pirate Nation, it's kind of easy for your household because half of them is already a part of Pirate Nation. Yes, yes, my wife is an alum and she is uh, very excited that we're, we're coming back here. And I think uh, we're probably the only people in Starkville, Mississippi with uh, East Carolina memorabilia in our house. You got a chance to meet some of your players. Um, how was that for you and how important was it for you to, to sit across and, and know that they're you know, they're, they're your kids now. 
Yeah, I think it's it's really important. It's uh, you know this time of transition is tough on them to to go over a month and not have a coach and and not know what the future holds. So. To be able to get here and, and be face to face with them before they left for the break was just super important because hopefully they, they leave now and they're you know a little bit at ease and, and we can have some conversations while they're gone and, and get prepared when they come back. I think one of the players asked you about style, your style. Talk to me about your style. Yeah, so my style is winning. Uh, it's, it's simple, so that's going to look different every game. You talk about your expectations. We're not talking down the road. I mean, next year, your expectations. I want to win right away. I think uh, any good coach who's competitive wants to win. And, you know, I don't make promises, but those are the expectations are to win. So we're going to do a lot of work over the you know, next six to eight months to prepare for that season. We can win right away. It's just a matter of putting, putting the right pieces together and finding out what our strengths are and our weaknesses and, and making sure we're highlighting our strengths and, and creating systems that are going to benefit the players that we have. Thanks, Brian. We're so excited to see progress being made at Downey Ficklin Stadium, Bagwell Field. The new renovation, it is going to be absolutely beautiful. Let's get an update now from the Pirate Club and Philip Wood. Hello, my name is Philip Wood, Executive Director of your ECU Pirate Club, and I appreciate you for giving me the time today to give you an update and insight of where we are with our exciting Southside Stadium renovation project at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium at Bagwell Field. This comprehensive campaign is the most ambitious in our history. The Dowdy Ficklin Stadium Southside Renovation Project gives us the opportunity to transform the entire face of ECU athletics. It is critical we provide facilities and services that equal or exceed those found at other American Athletic Conference institutions while enhancing our game day experience for the thousands of Pirate fans attending our games at Bagwell Field and Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. This project will feature construction of a south side tower resulting in the creation of a thousand premium seats through the addition of a new scholarship club level, loge boxes, standard suites, and founder suites. In addition, we'll enhance your game day experience with a brand new pirate club level, field level club, and premium parking spaces. We are adding a modern press level with additional space for media and improvements to the Ward Sports Medicine building, including a new football locker room, enhancements to our sports medicine facility, and a football lounge, your involvement in this campaign will make a significant difference in our short-term and long-term success. We appreciate your passion and commitment to our university, our athletic program, and our deserving student-athletes. This project will give you and your family the opportunity to further define your legacy with ECU. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this has helped answer any questions you may have had concerning our Southside Stadium renovation project. If you still have questions, please feel free to call our Pirate Club staff to discuss this project in depth. Please contact us by calling 252-737-4540 or visit our website at ecupirateclub.com. Thanks so much and go Pirates! So you're up at dawn, kid, look alive. You've been saving for a big man cave. Good luck with that, Dave. You made the most of your retirement plan, so you better learn to drive that RV, man. So many things you're doing in your life. Nationwide is on your side. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship.
7,000 student athletes rising to become champions in 21 different sports at 13 esteemed institutions across 11 states. 360,000 students and 2.6 million alumni rise up in celebration of a Power Six conference known as the American. Welcome back to the show. It's going to be a very busy week for the Pirates coming up this week. Two games. The Pirates are home on Monday night against Charlotte, then Thursday night against Grambling State. Let's talk about the 49ers. Mark Price's ball club. John Davis, their star player. He's really good, isn't he? Yeah, outstanding player. As I mentioned before, reunion of some sorts because him and Isaac Fleming played together at National Christian Prep in Washington, D.C. They have a heck of a backcourt, if you can imagine those two in the backcourt together. So that'll be a reunion of sorts for them. Outstanding guard, really explosive, and can get to the rim. Some similarities to Isaac, actually. Uh, so that'll be an interesting matchup. Mark Price does a great job. Uh, the team's trying to find themselves a little bit. They're a little bit of a, of a losing streak right now that they're trying to fight through. Uh, they've done some different things, different combinations. So we're not sure exactly what we're going to see in terms of style of play when they come in here, but we'll be prepared. Well, you know, Coach Price uh, very well from a long time back, Mike. And his son now, Hudson Price, is on this team, and he's a big contributor, isn't he? Absolutely. Good player. Uh, can be a matchup problem. He can play both uh, forward positions. Uh, have to be aware he's at at all times because he can shoot the basketball. Not as good as his dad, yeah. but he's a really good shooter. Yeah, nobody shoots it like his dad did. Let's talk about Grambling State now coming in on Thursday. This is a dangerous team. They went to Atlanta and they beat Georgia Tech. That was a little bit of an eyebrow, Rosie. Yeah, and, and even more important than the win they had was the timing of it. Uh, Georgia Tech had just come off one of their best wins of the year. Uh, in North, uh, versus Northwestern, who was top 25 at the time. They were riding a high, and a few days later, Gramlin comes in. They're 0-65 versus Power 5 conferences, and he go, they walk in there and get a win. I mean, that's a tremendous win for them, but then the timing was just uh, ridiculous. And they've got a big ball club, Mike. I was looking at their roster. They have like five or six guys, six, eight, or bigger on this team. Yeah, and they rotate them in. They play, uh, play those positions by committing. So they're rotating personnel in, fresh bodies with size. They can bring some physicality uh, at, at, at every turn. Okay, Coach, thanks so much for the visit. We'll see you next week. Thank you. That's Mike Perry, and the Pirates are home for two games this week. We'll see you on Monday night, East Carolina and Charlotte at 7, and Thursday night for the Pirates and Grambling State. Have a great week, everybody. The ECU Basketball Show has been presented by Suddenlink. One gig speed from Suddenlink is here. The ECU Basketball Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.